Last year, I withdrew the United States from one of the most dangerous, one-sided deals ever negotiated, the disastrous Iran nuclear deal. They wanted to kill Israel. They wanted to destroy Israel. And maybe you could explain to the young man that just got taken out what it means when a country shouts as they're signing the deal, death to Israel. Maybe you could explain that to him. Now, just three years later, I stand before you as the President of the United States to report on a very different situation. I also took another historic action that had been decades in waiting. The United States recognized the true capital of Israel and opened the American Embassy in Jerusalem. Every president for many decades said they were going to do that. And I understand really why. Because when it was determined that maybe I'd do it, maybe there was a chance, the calls I got from leaders of other countries were unbelievable. Presidents, dictators, prime minister, kings, queens, everybody. My phone was ringing off the hook. So I left a message. I said, I'm going to call you next week. So I did it. I did it. Then I started calling people back. King, how are you? How have you been? I called you last week. I said, what's up? <laughs> well, I wanted to talk to you about Israel and the embassy in Jerusalem. I said, look, I'm sorry. It's, uh, <laughs> I wish I would have known. I did it. I did it yesterday. At the United Nations, we no longer tolerate any form of anti-American, anti-Israel, and anti-Semitic bias. We don't do it. But I stood with your Prime Minister at the White House to recognize Israeli sovereignty over the Golan Heights. The Golan Heights is uh, something I've been hearing about for a long time. And I went, bing. It was done. Then I watched the fake news, and they said, we have breaking news. President Trump has just committed to the Golan Heights. And it was a big, big story for two days. Everyone's happy. No repercussions. No, and there won't be. And we're there to protect Israel, so there won't be. Under my administration, the United States will always support Israel's right to self-defense. And we are just getting started.